from whoever the fuck witnesses what happens today walking to Evervale from Newport. So uh, it is, I don't know what the time is, Friday 8th of July, it's about 10 to 11, 5 to 11 in the morning and I'm off to meet Sam or Spike as you might know him because you know I'll make music with him and today we're going to walk from Newport to the head of the Ebervale Valley which would be Ebervale town so uh, yeah that's going to be fucking exciting so I'll see you in a bit when I'm with Sam it is incredibly sunny for the UK at the minute uh, yeah we're with uh, Sam right here uh, and yeah so I made it to him in the end uh, and um, yeah hopefully we actually make it to Evervale this time uh, it's really awkward using the front camera on the iPhone camera, I don't know why. I swear it like inverts it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's, it's so annoying. It's awkward. Like, I look at the camera and my eyes are going on all different directions, but... Um, yeah, let's just pray we make it over halfway, because last time we made it to Crumlin, which is about 11 odd miles. It only took us about three and a bit hours. Um, and Google Maps always thinks we're going to be about 15 minutes later than we actually are. So we usually beat Google Maps to it on the time. So I'm thinking yeah. if we keep the pace like we did last time. And, um, well, I, my arm just got caught on a really itchy plant then, I think. So, uh, yeah, because my arms are out, obviously, my skinny arms, like a skeleton. Because it is very sunny, as you can Tell, but it's yeah. the worst time to do the other bit of walk as well because of how sunny it is. Yeah, as you get further up the valley, there's going to be nicer views though. Yeah. But yeah, see you soon. So, uh, battery is 34% and I've forgotten what the time is already. What is the time? Um, the time is 11.18. 11.18. And I'd say the starting point for my Strava would be as soon as we enter Tradiga, which is just up there. I mean the park, not the town. Very funny. If you if you're from Gwent, you probably know where the two Tradigas are. It's Tradiga Town up in well actually quite near Everdale and there's Tradiga, the park, just up there. So um yeah, I'll see you at the starting point. So um I've just started Strava, which is a very good app for walking, cycling, hiking, running, swimming, pretty much fucking anything. Yeah, there's swimming. I was gonna get a um, like an armband yeah, thing in it. Yeah. I still have my watch because it's just, I don't know, I don't use it much. But no. I'd use it if it was like a small band. Yeah, well, um, Strava's a great app for tracking your um, activity. Not that, not like online activity, by the way. I mean like physical sporting activity. You, you get the fucking idea, you know what I'm on about. Yeah, that, that's a good uh, Workout is a better Workout is a better word than activity because it's only like, also not like, like online what you're doing, like being tracked by Google or something. Yet. Anyway, yeah, it's great for tracking your speed, your pace, like how far you've walked and like cycled. By <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, I was sponsored by Strava. That would actually be quite, pretty sick, actually, if we did like sponsored. Well, what's the sponsor budget? Maybe they'll notice how far we walk. <laughs> Um, but yeah, on GoPro mode, even though I'm filming this off my phone, but I'm just moving the camera around like this. Everyone acts strongly. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's a great app for like, uh, tracking like your workouts and shit and walking, running, and like I said. And that's what we're using today to track, well, how far we walk, what time we do it in. I'm hoping for about six hours because Google keeps saying seven hours, but I'm hoping we could do it in. I reckon we could do it in six. I reckon we could do it in six going at the pace we were last time. Because it only took us about three something hours to make it halfway, so the time's yeah. about two. Yeah, but we're not going to go super, super fast today, so we don't Yeah, because we don't want to we don't want to hurt yourself like you did last time, because yeah. basically, you had, you, I think you had a fucking hernia or something. It happened last time. It was I think you got a hernia because like something popped out your leg. And we had to popped out my leg. I stood up and something popped out. I was like, oh, no. I literally, we, we literally had to like struggle back to Newbridge so we could get on the train because Crumlin has no train station. Because right now the railways in Wales are really yeah. shite. I, I could walk after a while, but it, every time I stepped, it was like I had to clench my teeth. I know. I felt so bad, but like there was no other way. Yeah. And we only just, I literally just had the money for both of us on the train, yeah. which is three pound forty to Pie Corner. <laughs> and I accidentally thought we got on at Cross Keys, but yeah, enough talking and I'll see you at the next point, which is probably the tunnel of the grass up there. So, 
we are at the tunnel in Stiga. There's some pretty fucking sick graffiti in here too. And behind us is the light at the end of the tunnel and a guy driving something. Naked. I'm imagining he's... Yeah, he's literally got his top off. He's already done one mile. So. Have we? But anyway, uh, yeah. He appears to be working for the council and the park management or some shit, I don't know. Uh, you never know with Newport City Council. But yeah, I like how they've actually sorted the lights out in here as you can see over here. On GoPro mode, you know, moving the camera ring like this. I wish I was wearing a GoPro, but you know. I don't know, I fucking lost both of mine. So uh, yeah, I used to stick them on my bike. Um, so if anyone would like try to hit me, which they did quite a lot, then I'd have it on the cause. I don't really bother with that shit anymore, I just ride my bike. Because, you know, those cyclists who go up to drivers when they're on the phones and report them to the police are absolute fucking snakes, I'm sorry, but they just are. But yeah, uh, see you at the next point because I cannot see my phone because the brightness is like all the way down and it is roasting hot, like the sun. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, over there is where the tunnel we just come out of is and instead of going all the way around, uh, we're going to cut through here where I can hear. Are those crickets and grasshoppers? Crickets are in the night, isn't they? They sound like grasshoppers. I think it's grasshoppers that make that crickets weird. Some more yeah, I'm pretty sure crickets like have two tones as well. Oh, there's a dragonfly over there. I keep going, I went. Um, but yeah, I can hear a lot of grasshoppers or something back here. Making that very electric sound noise. Just to like hide them more. Yeah, like, did, do, like, a, like, a, like a clock. A little bit. Uh, yeah. I don't know why, I'm probably going to laugh. I play, I play like animal sounds at night. Sleep, like, oh, don't worry. I listen to ASMR at night. People making noises and that. Not that kind of noise. You dirty twats. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I, I can't really judge you for listening to, to like sounds at night to help you sleep. Yeah, if I listen to fucking ASMR to sleep, that's a very, <laughs> a very embarrassing fact about me. I listen to ASMR to go to sleep at night or to relax. Well, I don't. Down the road, like. No, not breathing. Well, sometimes, but yeah, I'm literally fucking exposing myself on like how I get to sleep at night. You listen to some man sniffing in the mic. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not gonna talk about the rest of this ears and that shit on camera. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you at the next point. So I'm recording again. I just wanted to point out that um, this bridge has appeared in both of mine and Sam's music videos because this bridge in right at the back of Stiga in Newport. Well, down there, one second, down there is where, well, I don't think the rocks are still in place anymore. This is where Skylight XO was filmed, the music video, and up on this bridge, yeah, and down there I recorded Sam and Alex sat by here for the Don't Want one, and that one's unreleased now, but a uh, small snippet of it is in the upcoming little documentary thing that I'm making. Called Risks a Short Documentary, so just a little fun fact by there. Also, fun fact about me as well, I'm a new project releasing soon. Oh, what's that? You never even told me that. Uh, so, it's basically, you know my old album? Oh, Clouds Roll Over. Yeah, Clouds Roll Over, that album. Yeah. It's coming out. I don't know when it's coming out, yeah, but I'm re recording some of the songs that I forgot to finish or that were finished but yeah. I didn't do properly. So, Alright, that seems good. Alright, I, I actually can't wait to like see. Well, here, your music that was never released, but you've actually decided to finish it off and redo some of it. Because I remember Clouds Rollover, there was Pressure, which was only a preview. Pressure is actually not an Oh, shit. I will read with Pressure, just so you can... But, like, yeah. I can't wait to make more music this year. Yeah, I, I was going to rename the album um, to Clouds Rollover. I think I'll keep that name, Clouds Rollover, as the album name. It just makes sense to me. Yeah, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video into sections, you know you can do those chapters on YouTube. Yeah. Um, I might do like Tradiga 1, Tradiga 2, Tradiga 3, and then when we get to like a certain point, uh, Bay's Leg 1, like which is going to be coming up, by Pie Corner. And I should just do Tradiga in one video. Yeah. And then the next video you do the entire of um, Pie Corner. Yeah, 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 I like chapters. Right, well, we'll see you at the next point, which is going to be um, pavement for a little bit. And yeah. Right, so we've just exited the path from down there. So we're no longer into the uh, 
the park. And we're on, I think this is Golden Mile View Estate, just off Baysleg Road. It's supposed to be a quiet estate. Is it? Yeah, you don't want to be in here much more. Mm, I don't know. But yeah, um, probably shouldn't say this on camera, but uh, this is just off High Street, Baysleg Road. But uh, you'll never know which number. Well, you might if you actually know me. But <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh uh, yes, my number, uh, my my house number is definitely 106. Before you actually knock the door, it is not, so please don't. Um, I genuinely don't know who the fuck lives at number 106. <laughs> Sorry if you do live at 106, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't, no, I'm being serious, I don't actually know who lives there. I don't actually live at 106. It's not at 106. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say my full address on here, like, obviously. But, uh... Yeah, it's a nice walk in the sun, all the way to Evervale. Cause you know, that's just casually like, your you afternoon walk, in it. I remember when Stratford tried to name it afternoon walk. <laughs> but yeah, oh, we'll see you at the next point. I'm literally dying already. Um, we're by Pie Corner train station now, which is, oh, I can actually hear a train over there. I don't know if I can quite reach the camera over to it, but I can definitely hear a train headed for either Cross Keys or Evervale Town. I've just got to do my quick railway man at moment. I'm not a train spotter, by the way. I just go on trains a lot before you try and call me out for apparently being a train spotter. But yeah, that's Pike Corner Station. Uh, it was, it's the newest of the stations in Newport, and there are only three train stations in my city. Um, which uh, Newport, which is like obviously the main station in town, and that would be the oldest one that's still there. It's Roger Stone, which obviously serves Roger Stone, <laughs> opened in 2008, and I believe that station there, Pie Corner, which serves like Bay's Leg, I'm pretty sure it was opened in 2013 or 14. Um, one of them, uh, just before Everville Town Station was opened, because before that it was Parkway. So I'm, I'm going on a bit about shitty fucking railways in Wales, but I just know a lot about it, so I thought I'd like to share the info. But yeah, we we'll, we will be getting on the train later to get home from Edvale. So we'll go past all these stations again because we're going to be going past, um, well, Newbridge Station. Well, actually, we won't be going past it until we get on the train. We'll definitely go past San Hislef Station and the Edvale ones, though. So, uh, more train shit there. But yeah, I'll see you in the next stop. 12 p.m. and. Well, we've just gone for a little pit stop at the shop. Um, I wonder what's on that sign. I'm actually very intrigued as to what's on there. Oh, it's just Roger Stone Community Council. So we're, we're basically in Roger Stone. Oh, there's a phone box down here. Oh, yeah. You can see the valley a little bit, which we'll be heading towards. Yeah. So we're uh, also yeah. going up this hill, which leads us to the place we need to go to the canal pretty much. <laughs> Just bloody tripped up the curve. Yeah. But yeah. Right. So then we walk along the canal for like most of the time. Yeah, I'll point out like little points where we get into different towns and villages, like Risca is gonna be the first of them. Well Roger Stone, then Risca, then Cross Keys. Yeah. Then at the end of the path is Cumcan and Pont de Warm. So after that we'll have to go on pavements. Yeah. And eventually we'll have to go on a well, a few stretches of roads without pavement, which is gonna be fun. Because I don't really feel like taking the bike path because it's just really desolate and hilly. I don't know. Yeah, see you soon. Hello again. Still with Sam, he's still alive, just about. Um, we were just looking at the signs of heat stroke just in case we do feel really unwell from the sun. Just in case, because it is possible. Because, well, there's a difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Heat exhaustion is, is not as serious and if you can get someone to feel better within um, half an hour of their sort of symptoms of heat exhaustion, they should be alright. But it can. We should have done. We should have took more. I have not even been Yeah. But um, it can turn into heat stroke, which is a medical emergency. And if you ever suspect someone has heat stroke, you should call 999 and ask for an ambulance. Um, because I've just read up on all that just in case because we are walking a fair 20 miles in the blaring heat yeah. 
and well when it gets hot in the UK it, well half the time it's fucking raining but uh, making the most of the sun because from all we know it could be I don't know fucking snowing well not snowing we never really get snow in the UK we either yeah and it's in the shade by the way because all the yeah. trees yeah. so we should be all right um one in the next right uh i wouldn't go down the come lane way today i'll uh, yeah. keep walking and go uh, right yeah. and you, walking. you're walking back on yourself if you're all down come lane. 56 up there going to tradiga yeah. not the park the town this time which is the head of the sahari valley so yeah we'll see you when we're at the sort of like purpose-built destinized bit which is the canal path up to Kunkan. Made it to the uh, canal path where there should be a decent bit of shade from the trees and this will be going on for well not many miles but a good few miles up to well Rogerstone where we technically are, Risker, uh, Gross Keys and eventually Kunkan which is the end of the path but then we gotta go on the pavements and the roads so uh yeah this should be a pleasant bit of walking ah oh, finding some shade for my skeleton looking arms <laughs> got plenty of sun cream on though so should be all right uh, so yeah we'll see you at the next crossing or sign or something well here we are um at one crossing which is after this like road crossing thing so we've got some sick signs let's see what they say and some nice views and a bench, but there's currently it's people sat on Nice. So, uh, cyclists dismount, look both ways, GoPro mode. National Cycle Route 47. I think it's London to Fishguard, or that, I might be getting that confused with National Cycle Route number four. And well, there's actually a sign for that up there. Let's go. Uh, we've got a sign up there for Sahari Valley Walk and then up here it says no horse riding. Oh, nice valley view. I might get a picture for this. Just taking a live photo. Uh, yeah, so um, we're about 10% of the way to Evervale and we'll see you soon. We've got the battery pack on because my phone was on like 13% because I forgot to charge it for a long time last night. I really should have remembered. I just can't be asked sometimes. I know it's saying lazy. So, as you can see, there's a nice bridge. Gonna get a photo of that quickly. Live photos. Mm, I might go over the bridge rather than under. So, you can see there's Roger Stone down there. Not sure what's up there. Um, got a sign for Cross Keys up there. So if we keep following this, well, before we get to cross queues, we'll get to Riska, for sure. So, I uh, just wanted to point all this out, like there's a nice bridge in there. Some uh, stuff over here. I remember that weird pirate stuff. I don't know what it is with this, like, canal path. Like, all the house, all, all these houses have really weird statues and shit. It's like some yeah. voodoo shit's going on. <laughs> people, people buy it and they want to, like, maybe, like... Like maybe they just want to make the route. Maybe they just want to make the route like more welcoming and attractive. I respect that. Like, it like it's their garden to be fair. But my personal opinion, just the statues look really weird. <laughs> but this one's cool. Man. Oh, this one's pretty cool. It's a pirate one. Hang on, let me just get to this. Uh, zoom in a bit if I can. I like this. One. Yeah, this one's actually pretty sick. Cause there's no, yeah. there's no dodgy statues staring at into my soul. Like, admittedly, this one's a bit weird, but it's pretty cool. I might get a picture of that. Live photo. Yeah, it's not actually that bad. Uh, yeah, see you at the next point. Possibly coming up to Cathilly County, I'd imagine. Right, so, I just ate a really sugary sweet, and it was almost disgusting. <laughs> the amount of sugar on that. That's hard. Fucking stuff. Um, very nice view of the valley by there, with a sort of mile post picture. Um, Newport. Then it says Rogerstone train station is down that way. So uh, we're not too far off Cafferty County and Risker now. So if we just keep walking, it should be at the next bridge or something. I think it's the next bridge um, that we see. 
should be the border between the city of Newport and the County Borough of Caffili where Risca, Crosskeys and Cuncan and Newbridge and Crumlin are. And after that is Blaine Gwent where Ebervale is. So you'll see you probably at the border point. I mean it seems like we're crossing the country but I'll see you at the Caffili County border. Oh, so we're basically in Caffili County now, just crossed past that big bridge. So yeah, next stop is probably Risca. Oh, we are at, well, let me just, uh, go on, go on. let me just uh, show you this amazing sign. It says that Risca and Ponty Meister station is down that way. I think it's Ponty Meister, it might be Ponty Mister, it's one of them. And through this very weird gate thing we go. Ding dong. Anyway, so as you can see, we are 100% in Caffili County now. Uh, and uh, we're in a town called Risker, if you know where that is. Because uh, I definitely do, because I'm literally walking through it. But um, the next place is going to be Cross Keys. And uh, if I just get up close to this sign, you can see it's a Caffili County Borough styled sign, of course, in green. With their coat of arms. I don't know why I'm talking like such a architect or job for whatever. Six miles out of Newport. Oh, there's a sign for Ponty Preve. 18 and a half miles. That is actually quite sick. I might have to get a foot of that. Uh, National Cycle Network. But yeah, you can see a T sign, which is an estate in Risca. Uh, right at the top of Risca. With a skate park as well, which I've been to. So anyway, let's uh, keep walking and see you at the next point. So yeah, Alex, uh, or Rogue as he was in the Don't Want song, which got deleted, but we don't, we don't talk about that, do we? Uh, Alex is going to be joining us at Cross Keys, because, um, well, we asked him if he wanted to come and surprise me, he said, yeah, so, uh, we've got a mile and a three quarters, I think it How says. How long is that going to take? Uh, we'll just, uh, get to this signage in. Like 30 minutes, yeah? Let me just check. 45 minutes, it says, but we did it quicker than that last time. Uh, and he's by Morrison's in Rogerstone. He's joining us at Cross Keys because, um, well, you can exactly, if he walked from where we started, well, we'd be way ahead of him, obviously. And if we waited, it'd be like ages. So he's joining us at Cross Keys, which is probably the most sensible point because we're not that far. Um, and he's only just going out of Newport by Rogerstone. So Risca wouldn't be a good one. So we'll rendezvous, bit of a weird word, at Cross Keys. Cross Keys? Cross Keys. Ah, uh, getting out of breath I am. Uh, need a bit of water, I reckon. So yeah, we'll see Alex at Cross Keys. He'll join us all the way up to Ebervale. And um, he'll obviously be a lot less tired because he's, well, shaved off a lot of the journey. But you know, the, the more the merrier, I guess. So yeah, we'll see you soon when we're a bit closer to Cross Keys. We over Risca by you. Yeah? Uh, Alex isn't too far now, he's just in Cross Keys still, we, and it shouldn't take us too long to get there. He's just walked over a uh, level crossing over the Evervale line, which we'll actually be coming on later. We'll probably just about 10 times. So, um, yeah, if we give it 5 or 10 minutes, stay in the path, and really meet up with Alex to walk the rest of the way. So, uh, Almost at Cross Keys, as you can see. Uh, and then Alex isn't so far, just down this way. So, uh, yeah, just uh, follow this path and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you'll join us for the rest of the walk. Oh, my feet are killing. They weren't like this last time. Don't know why. But yeah, I feel better this time. So uh, we're with Alex now, so all three of us are gonna do the rest of the walk. I cheated, I started at Cross Keys. Yeah, it's the Don't Want crew. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, we couldn't help it. Uh, yeah, I started back even before I met Sam. Um, what? We can have no fun story. Oh, I probably should do. I'm only doing clips, aren't I? Yeah, I'm only doing um, clips. Diamond. Diamond. Nah. 
I don't want to yeah, keep walking. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, keep the pace, pace up. Pace, 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 That's pace, what I kept seeing pace. before. Nah, it's gonna look like fucking... Yeah, you bought some cream. Uh, I brought a cream. Is my neck... It's back. No. Oh, it's no, something to the It is red a lot. Oh, shit. Nah, but yeah. It's not red, it's black. Nah, yeah. I nah, I started recording. She fucked it all up. And then I said to her, what, what's that? Yeah, she yeah. Then she went, I still got the clip. But yeah, basically, I started recording the clips like when I left my house, or sort of, at like, oh. this alleyway. And then and I met Sam, and then we met you. But yeah, I recorded some in between. Where did I meet Sam? Uh, where did I meet Sam? Uh, outside of the house. And then. Should have actually done that. Literally walked all the way. My house is probably fit, it's coming. Yeah, I like how you got the army bag. Have you, have you got a Strava back yet on there? I've got an army bag. <laughs> I would add you to the Strava, but it would technically say that you walked all the way from Newport with me and Sam. Mm. Can I cross keys to the, um, bring them up? So, <laughs> Everbeal. Everbeal. No, I said um. So, Lola, do you want me to add you to it? Just, just to... Yeah, sure. Alright, it's over all three of us. It, 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 cross keys is basically Newport, Newport isn't it? Everbeal. But yeah, we'll see you at the next point. We're on to the next point. Yeah, uh, coming to the end of like the purpose built pedestrianised bit on the canal path. Uh, um, so we're just going out of Ponty Wall into Guncan. So uh, if we follow this bit by here, my legs are dying on my feet actually. So uh, some stuff up here. There you go, come can. So yeah. And then uh mm -hmm. So uh yeah, if we just uh follow up that way up uh come can village. Uh it should lead through into Avacan and then after that into Newbridge uh, if we follow the main road. So yeah, next stop is Avacan, I believe. We've made it to Avacan, a tiny town, and this is the library. Don't know why I'm coming that. But yeah, oh, it's close. Anyway, so we still got a long while left, about three hours and forty-eight minutes to Evervale. Uh, shop by there. But yeah, might go in the shop, and then the next place is Newbridge, which is just along the main road. So yeah, see you there. Okay, we're at Trek Helen or Newbridge. Well, Newbridge if you speak English or Trek Helen if you speak Welsh. So we're going for a Mackey's by here on the rainbow. And we're gonna head up towards Evervale and we'll go through Crumlin. And then that'll be the last of Cafe County before we go into Blaine and Gwent. So we're gonna end up recording here because I'm obviously going in, into the We're at Crumlin. Finally, uh, after our little rest stop in Newbridge, so that's a uh, crumbling over there. So then this is where we got last time, up to that bus stop. But, uh, Sam's leg sort of gave in last time. So yeah, we'll let you know when we're at the next stop at Sam Hissler, because honestly, my phone's even like 20% again. So uh, not too much time to record. And plenty of time to keep strand while I'm recording my uh, loop in the wig taking. Wait. <laughs> so, yeah, see you in a bit. It's the old crumbling colliery up there. Uh, I can't really get too much of it because we've managed to find a national cycle route to uh, hopefully San Hisless. Um, as you can see by there. So, um, I'm, uh, I feel so lucky I saw that because look, walking on that, like, I, I, cycling on it's bad. But walking, yeah, it probably is. But yeah, we'll see what Sam Hiss left probably. Yeah, by the way, so we just like crossed the border into Blyne and went. Just listen to me. Uh, yeah, we're not too far off Sam Hiss left, by the way. I see we're over halfway or almost halfway. There's a bit. But yeah, we're in uh, Blind of Gwent now, so no more Cathedral County. Yeah, we'll have to stop. <sighs> yeah, we'll see when Sanif left, probably. 
Yes, we won't see you in Clan Hiss for now, but what the fuck? There's a full on just walls. Like, it's all valleys and that. And there's a plane up there. But yeah, let's go. I'll probably see you in Clan Hiss this time, hopefully. So we made it to the end of that pass. Um, so. We got uh, Suffred and Ponty Pool that way, apparently. Um, but yeah, shit. Still a while to go to Everbale. But yeah, see you in a bit. Got into San Hisler, and actually, I know that building. Yo, lads, lads. Basically, that building, I'm fr I'm 99 percent sure. But um, it's like a old sort of shower building for the, the miners that lived here um, back when it was like coal uh, mining and stuff in the valleys. But yeah, I've never actually seen that before in real life. But yeah, it's abandoned now, as you can tell. But yeah, you know, I bet it looks quite interesting in there. But yeah. Uh, we're at a Sand Hisleth station now. Finally. Still ages to go, probably. But yeah. Pretty nice view by here as well, over the little village of San Hislef and the uh, train lines. Yeah, I quite like this sort of like valley view actually. So uh, we're now at Abbey, as you can see. Just leaving San Hislef, going into Abbey, which is going to be one of the last few stretches on this walk. Honestly, hey, well, lads. we've just got into Abbey you now, so. From, this is going to be one of the, like the final stretches of the walk, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. So we'll see you in a bit. All right. So right at the end of the street is the National Cycle Route bike path. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on. Uh, for some reason, it's pointing to Abertillery. Uh, I can assure you, it, it also goes to Abervale if you follow it a certain way. So yeah, we'll just see you at another point on this trip, whenever. Well, uh, we found the bike path to Evervale, uh, as you can see, apparently six miles, but I'm sure it's less than that, or a little less anyway. But yeah, just up here, and final little stretch, or a few stretches. Oh, I'll see you soon. So, we're at this bike path towards Evervale, and there is a great big valley view by there i'm just gonna wipe the camera i might have got a bit of sun cream on it yeah that's much better uh that is beautiful sort of so yeah still got a little while but we're on the bike path and up there there's a house in the mountain but yeah well there's this bike path around yeah yeah why does it lead to nothing it doesn't. Um, there's eventually a turn-off point where you go that way down a hill. Oh, but yeah, see so you at the next point. Well, that's the last few times I'll be seeing this now. It is now 6.08 p.m. And, well, it's a nice view. Oh, I'll give it, give it that, but I'm literally dying. And I'm walking in vans as well, so that's great. But the lads are by there. Are you coming then? Oh fuck, I'm actually dying here, honestly. But if I sit down, I won't get back up. I sit down. Yeah. But yeah, I'll see you at the next point if I'm even fucking alive. Right, so I'm feeling really sick and dehydrated, but we've reached this point where we have to turn off and go down into a village called Cum. So we just got to the end of that creepy ass path. No, we haven't. But yeah, we just got to the end of that creepy ass path. And now we're on to another one, so uh, shouldn't be too long until we're at the main road. And I think there's a pavement from like where we're going onwards. So to be honest, we might just walk on that. If these are my last moments on life in life, walking through Evervale, listening to music blasting through a speaker, then I don't even know anymore. But yeah, right. Uh, we're almost at the end of this shitty path. Uh, but yeah, I'm so spooked from like this woods and shit. Like, but yeah, it takes the amount of time to surprised I'm still alive. Well, we made it to whatever the fuck this is. 
I don't know. Uh, uh, around this way, I think, from what I remember. Yeah, this is some creepy shit. See you soon. Ah, oh, right, I'm back on the camera. Fucking made it to the absolute end of the path now. And then we're gonna go on the main roads because honestly, fuck going back on that path. So, uh, I think up there, I'd say go round the roundabout. I, no, I'd go up here and then go round the roundabout up on the main roads because I'm not walking through there. Or after all that i can't deal with like how rural it is <laughs> honestly but yeah we'll see you a bit further up the main road last little stretch anyway and over here you got some fucking village or something don't even know anymore uh not too long i don't think well after going on a fucking main road and then climbing out of it by chance through this tiny gap after realising it was a shite idea to walk on a road that says no pedestrians, uh, we're now walking up this uh, little village road. I don't know where this actually is, to be honest. Um, but yeah, don't know what the next point's going to be. Don't care, just want to get home. Sit down, fucking slowly get Basically, I've really fucked up my knee from this walk. Yeah, probably, but we're only going to go to Evervale Parkway, which is technically going to be within Evervale, but I don't know anymore. But at least we've just about managed to walk it, honestly. But I keep getting really fucking, like, sharp feelings in my leg, and it's really not good. So I'm really worried about it. So I'm just going to get on the train and sit down. But yeah, I'll see you at Evervale Parkway. Well, made it to Evervale fucking Parkway, and just missed the train i got to go proper slow down these steps because i fucked my leg up from walking this far i've never actually done this as you can tell so i should probably get used to it a bit more before i try this shit again so yeah ow ow fuck oh shit yeah this was not a good idea first proper long walk about 20 odd miles not a clean break basically well a clean break in me fucking leg at the minute uh i'd say technically this is evervale because it is evervale parkway so yeah <laughs> may as well consider it but yeah we'll let you know when we're on the train it's been a very, very long fucking day uh i'm not um but yeah this is the end of the video now we're about to get on the train and get the fuck home so i don't know if i'm gonna record anything beyond this point but yeah sick one i fucking yeah, but I've just got off the train there and I'm doing my final recording for today. And yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, sky up there. Uh, it was a good day. Yeah, it was a decent day, but yeah. I've fucked up my knee. Yeah. Oh shit, I accidentally, I accidentally ended the fucking video. But yeah, I've fucked up my knee and I keep limping. It was a good day with a lot of travelling. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, I look like bloody... I don't know. A bit. Uh, but yeah, next walk probably Rumney or some shit, I don't know.